Great, thank you. Welcome everyone. It's Monday, February 14th, 2022. It's time for our regularly scheduled city council meeting. I'd ask the clerk to certify the meeting notice. This meeting has been noticed in accordance with Idaho Code 74-204. Clerk, call the roll, please. <clears throat> Councilmember Heller. Here. Councilmember Jacobs. Here. Councilmember Jorgensen. Here. Councilmember Page. Here. Thanks, Pete. Join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Item D is changes to the agenda. We have none from staff. Okay, none from council. Next item is the consent agenda. Mr. Mayor. Yes. I move that we approve the consent agenda. Right. Okay, we've got a motion and a second to approve the consent agenda. Is there any discussion? Your number of clerk call the roll. Councilmember Heller? Yes. Councilmember Jacobs? Yes. Councilmember Jorgensen? Yes. Councilmember Page? Yes. We move down now to special business item F1. I uh, have two appointments uh, this evening, Council, for your consideration. The first is to appoint Sherry Keys to the Garden City Library Board of Trustees with a term ending date of June of 2025. Uh, Sherry is unable to be with us this evening. I don't can't tell if she's on Zoom or not. Print's pretty small. I don't see it. Okay. Uh, Sherry served for years on our library board foundation, uh, has been a dedicated uh, volunteer for us. Uh, she took a little respite and is uh, uh, coming back to join us, hopefully, on the board, as a board of trustee. I uh, visited with uh, trustee chairman Kate Souza and Lindsay Pettyjohn, and uh, they're both excited as I am to have her join our library board. So I'll offer that uh, now for your consideration. <coughs> Looking for a motion to confirm. Mr. Mayor, I motion yes. that we, come, we approve your confirmation request for the appointment of Sherry Keys to the Garden City Library Board of Trustees with a term ending on June 25th. Second. Great, thank you. We've got a motion and a second. Any discussion? Here now the clerk call roll. Councilmember Jacobs? Yes. Councilmember Jorgensen? Yes. Councilmember Page? Yes. Councilmember Heller? Yes. Thank you. The next appointment I'm offering uh, for the council asking for your approval is for Ryan Montoya uh, to the Garden City Planning and Zoning Commission. Mr. Montoya is in the audience tonight. Uh, and uh, uh, we're, I believe we're very fortunate to have him uh, join us. He's a, involved in a business in town in Garden City. Uh, he's got a legal background, uh, experience with Department of Lands. So he's, he's going to be an asset to our Planning and Zoning Commission. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. So, um, Ryan? Uh, I'm going to now offer you offer your appointment for confirmation of the city council. So I entertain an action. Mr. Mayor. Yes. Uh, I move that we appoint uh, or that we confirm your appointment of uh, Mr. Ryan Montoya to the Garden City Planning and Zoning Commission, finishing the remainder of uh, Commissioner Be Debbie Joe Pelton's term date ending July 2022. Second. Thank you. Got a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Are you now the clerk call the roll? Councilmember Jorgensen? Yes. Councilmember Page? Yes. Councilmember Heller? Yes. Councilmember Jacobs? Yes. Thank you. Since you're here, uh, Ryan, come on up and shake the hand of the council members and uh, want to welcome you and thank you for your service. Uh, nice to meet you, Bill Jacobs. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Charlie, the attorney, the other attorney. There's another one over there. That's scary. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, thank you for volunteering. It's awesome. 
Yes. Um, <clears throat> Now Jenna can put you to work. That's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, moving on item, uh, council item F3 is an extension request, uh, Violets Crossing subdivision on Reed Street. Uh, we have somebody on Zoom to speak to that. Okay. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear the name. Kevin Hawk is here. Hawkins? Hawk, 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 Hawk. Okay. Hey, thank you, uh, Mr. Hawk. Uh, go ahead and present your uh, petition for an extension. Yes, so for a petition, we are asking for extension of our entitlements, um, getting everything done with that. Uh, going through the process has taken a lot longer for us, especially post COVID with all the moving parts that has occurred. And we're um, asking for an extension on our request, please. Okay. Uh, Council, do you have any questions of Mr. Hawk? Is this your first request, Kevin? Yes, sir. This is our first request. Thank you. 66. Any other questions? Um, Mr. Mayor? Yes. Question for Mr. Wadhams. Okay. Um, what was that extension period we discussed at the last meeting? Was it 90 days? Is this a building permit extension? No, so it's a uh, one year. One year. Yeah, council president. It's one year. It's a different kind of extension request. Thank uh -huh. you. Just a question then for for the applicant. Um, uh, Mr. Hawk, is is a, is one year uh, sufficient? Um, I, I, how how's your project uh, coming along? Yes, one year would be sufficient for us. We were on the docket as well earlier for our restricted build agreements and one year would be efficient for us. Hey, any other questions? Ms. Thornboy, do you have anything to add? Okay. Uh, it's a pleasure to council. Mr. Mayor? Yes. I move that we approve uh, the extension for SUB FY 2021 Zero 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 one Violets Crossing subdivision uh, for the uh, term of one year. Second. Got a motion and a second to grant the extension request. Is there any discussion on the motion? Hearing none. Uh, clerk, call roll. Councilmember Page. Yes. Councilmember Heller. Yes. Councilmember Jacobs. Yes. Councilmember Jorgensen. Yes. Great. Thank you. Next item, item F four. This is another extension request. Uh, 45th place subdivision, uh, 4535 and 4539 Adams and 30 and 314 East 45th Street, page 73 in our packet. Uh, Jenna, are you addressing this one? Um, have we got somebody? Mayor, I do not see anybody um, okay. for this one. Um, and with that, thank you, Mayor and members of the council. Um, as the mayor introduced, uh, this is another subdivision requesting an extension. Uh, the reasons that the, the requests are noted um, was because um, plan approval and coordination has taken longer than expected. Um, and they're anticipating plan approval in the next few months. And they've been working on this project diligently since the approval with the city council. Um, they did note that they do not believe that there are any major changes to the neighborhood plans or policies that would affect the compatibility of the project. Staff did not find any major changes either. And with that, I stand for questions. Any questions of staff? Okay. Mayor, I do want to note that it is the first uh, extension request for this one as well. Okay, and I see it is for one year. Yes, okay. Okay, uh, it's a pleasure to council. Uh, Mr. Mayor. Yes. I do find good cause for this request uh, and uh, pursuant to Ms. Thornborough's uh, communication that the application hasn't changed. The property's uh, compliant, has been compliant and is actively pursuing uh, its uh, status and uh, move that we approve the extension for one year. Second. 
Thank you. We've got a motion and a second to grant the extension. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, the clerk call the roll. Councilmember Heller? Yes. Councilmember Jacobs? Yes. Councilmember Jorgensen? Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you. We'll move down to uh, ordinances, resolutions, and contracts. Uh, item one is author authorizing me to enter into an agreement with Source Well for sole source cooperative purchasing. Uh, I think, Colin, have you got a few words on this? Mayor, uh, council members, <laughs> I, I do have a few words. Yeah. Um, a, a couple of council members were here when we uh, agreed to join the HGAC Buy Cooperative. And it's a buying group that was out of Texas. We, we joined the group in order to buy the camera van that we purchased last year sometime. It's, it's been going on for quite some time. The, uh, the back trucks that we can buy through HGAC, for, some, for whatever reason, we're, we're not getting a lot of response back from them. So there's a local company that sells the same truck we're looking at, but they run under the source well contract and not the HGAC buy contract, which they're basically the same thing. They're a buying cooperative, which gives us pretty good leverage when it comes to buying or making purchases such as these large vehicles, large dollar amounts. We don't have to go out and have a public request for uh, qualifications, request for proposals. They've already done all that background work for us. They follow all the rules of the state government. So in that respect, we're, we're in good shape. And uh, as you can see on the... Uh, um, agenda document that I gave you, we, we can save, we can save some money. We save about 32 or $38,000 on a $428,000 vehicle. Yeah. Yes. So I, I, any other questions, I'd be more than happy to, uh, to discuss. Any questions to staff? So then call if I remember right, the original budget for the truck was 400 and then now with, it's now for 20, but it's better than 460. <laughs> <laughs> Mayor, come so <laughs> Yes, yeah, it's better than what it, it better than what it could be, um, whatever that is. Um, as, as everybody knows, and I, I know that we keep beating a dead horse here every time we come up and talk about this, but thing prices are not going down, which all of us are very, very aware. Um, vehicles are no probably at the pinnacle of that. Um, there, there are no the biggest. The biggest problem we see right now is uh, chassis for the vehicles. The the boxes, the uh, the truck is accessories. They're pretty easy to get. It's the machine that drives them around that is very difficult right now. And and we ran into that with the back truck as well. So I, I just do want to point out that joining these cooperatives does not cost the city any money. This isn't a yearly membership. This is something that we can participate in. We just need to sign up for it. Any, any other questions? Okay, thank you. Matters before the council. Mr. Mayor. Yes. I move that we uh, authorize you to enter into an agreement with SourceWell uh, for sole source cooperative purchasing. So okay. okay, got a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, they Clerk, call the roll, please. Councilmember Jacobs? Yes. Councilmember Jorgensen? Yes. Councilmember Page? Yes. Councilmember Heller? Yes. Thank you. Uh, item G2, this is uh, authorizing me to enter into an agreement with Metro Equip uh, to buy our VAC truck at $428,740.15. Uh, would you like, Colin, to in detail describe what a VAC truck is, if you don't know. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I, I do, uh, uh, I, I don't uh, need details, but I, I, I do think it'd be nice for the record. How, how does the city use a VAC truck and why is it necessary? Mayor, uh, Council Member Page, very good question. So uh, a combo VAC truck in which we're looking at purchasing, it replaces an old version that we have from 2010, I believe is when we bought that one right around there. Uh, what this truck does is we go through our sewer lines all year round. We, we can usually hit every line in town in about five years. And we, we go through there, we run this HUD nozzle through it, we pull it back and it's about 1500 pounds of pressure and it scours the pipes. So it cleans everything up. 
so we don't get uh, sanitary sewer overflows. So we don't have sewage coming out of the uh, manholes if there's a blockage. Uh, it keeps the smell down because it cleans everything out of there that's sitting stagnant. Um, we use that to, uh, sometimes we get a lot of roots in there in some of the older lines. So we'll go through and we'll tear all those roots out of there with this. It's, uh, it's an incredible machine. We're, we're very fortunate that we actually have one to begin with, and even more so that we're, that we're looking at purchasing a new one. I mean, there, there are a lot of cities who would be, they're very envious of the situation we're in. So um, I, I don't, I, I hope that that answers some of your question, but uh, they're, they're quite valuable. We also use them in the vacuum part of it when we clean out manholes, lift stations, we use that and clean out all, suck all the debris out of there so everything's ready to go. So we don't have backups with the pipe or the uh, pumps. The pumping system is run without failure. So it uh, it serves it serves a very big purpose in our in our collection system. Yeah. And what's the useful life? Is it is it ten years based uh, on the old truck? Mayor Councilmember Jacobs, it uh, depends how much it's used. So so you'll find a lot of vehicles in Garden City. It, aside from the police department, we don't get a lot of mileage on them. We get a lot of time on them. Right, right. So back trucks, back hoes, camera vans, the mileage is pretty minimal, but the hours of service are, are quite high because we've got a few guys that are pretty dedicated to the cause and they're out there all the time, camera and vacuuming the system, cleaning the system out. So we don't have to drive very far. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Any, any other questions? Great, thank you, Colin. You're welcome. <clears throat> okay, the matter is before the council. Um, Mr. Mayor, yes. I do find that it's in the city's best interest to pursue a purchase of a back truck and uh, would move that we authorize you to enter an agreement with Metro Quip through the source well so source uh, agreement to purchase a vacuum truck for an amount not to exceed $428,740.50. Second. Okay. It costs. Anyway. Great. Uh, got a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none of the clerk call the roll. Councilmember Jorgensen? Yes. Councilmember Page? Yes. Councilmember Heller? Yes. Councilmember Jacobs? Yes. Thank Thanks, you. Colin. Uh, that concludes the public portion of our meeting this evening. We do need to go into executive session uh, for our uh, twice a month update on our lawsuit with the Ada County Highway District. Uh, for the record, they're suing us, so we're defending ourselves. So uh, we need to visit about that a little bit, after which we will adjourn. Mr. Mayor. Yes. I move that in accordance with Idaho Code 74-2061F, we move into executive session to communicate with legal counsel for the public agency to discuss legal ramifications of and legal options for pending litigation or controversies not yet being litigated, but eminently likely to be <clears throat> litigated, after which this meeting will adjourn without a decision being made. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, the clerk call the roll. Councilmember Page? Yes. Councilmember Heller? Yes. Councilmember Jacobs? Yes. Councilmember Jorgensen? Yes. Thank you. Uh, Councilmember Jorgensen, just stay on the Zoom call. Uh, thank the rest of you that joined us tonight. Uh, we'll now be terminating the public portion of the, of the Zoom feed.